So this is the sort of some of the stuff for the Mega Pocket. It's not everything. It's the bill of materials is actually massive. I didn't realize that until I started doing up a kit for a mate. It's absolutely ridiculous how many uh, components are on here. I've used way too many different values. Well, I, I mean, it's just it's just the way it turned out. There's a lot of a lot of different values of capacitors, a lot of different values of uh, resistors. I think there's uh, sort of 44 parts that come from LCSC, and then there's other parts you get from AliExpress. So huge. I mean, it wouldn't you know? You'd have to be a nutter to make this. Is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, yeah, you got your Mega 32 there for you. Uh, crystal there, the 16 megahertz crystal. The flash chip TP456. Sorry, go a bit closer. Fuser, a couple of shocky diodes, and the 12 volt boost there is using a Texas Instruments. Can't remember the numbers. A Texas Instruments chip there, a couple of tantalum polymer capacitors there, a few resistors, whatever, and the screen holder, the on off switch. You've got a RGB LED there, and a full and charge LEDs. Anyway, yeah, so that is the PCB, this is a prototype, so it doesn't actually say Mega Pocket there, but the final does, and there's a few missing, I haven't put values on anything, so this was just a prototype, but the layout's the same. Anyway, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's, I wouldn't, as I said, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. You've got to, you've got to basically solder it together almost completely, then you program the at Mega 32 through these test points here, then once that's done, you can actually upload the games through the USB uh, port there. This thing needs to be taken apart because it doesn't just go on the board. It's so you only I'm only having the screen, the raw screen out of there. That wouldn't fit in the case. So every I think every project I've seen where they've done used a you know air quotes big screen, uh, RG Boy, uh, they've actually just used this and they've slapped it on the PCB or they've just wired it in. But that wouldn't actually fit in the case. And plus, I didn't want this ugly uh, ugly um, surround here. I think it's, uh, it's pretty horrible. Uh, so, yeah, this gives me the kind of one of the smallest form factor. Well, I believe so. I mean, I suppose you could cut that bit part down, but it's one of the smallest form factor large screen 2.42 inch OLED screen Arja boy game compatible handhelds out there it's a bit of a mouthful uh anyway I'm not gonna be too doing too much soldering on camera because uh I do I do need to get one more of these built I've already built one I do need to build one more um but uh I think uh, people you know they they'll they'll just skip over the soldering anyway so I'm not gonna put it in the video <laughs> So here it is, the third in the series of my pockets, the Pico Pocket with the, R, this is the RP2040, 20, 20, I think, but you can obviously use uh, RP2350. This is the uh, Croc Pocket with the ESP32S3, clear back, turned out really nice this one. Well, they're all nice and they all fit. I mean, this, this one is the odd one out with the slightly different screen size, but uh, I think it still looks cool and it still looks like it's part of the set. So um, I've used a clear back on this just temporarily, just so you can see the insides. But I will eventually put it back into the unclear one because I don't think that looks particularly nice. And uh, not, not everything needs a clear back. Yeah, there it is. So it's RG Boy game compatible, runs all the games. Can't do the grayscale very well. Um, oh no, I'm um, no, yeah. <laughs> Is there a worse game I could have picked? Nope. And, uh, I don't know if I'll do a, another one. I mean, this is, these are all the, um, these are all the handheld sort of tropes, really. I mean, this is all the, DIY handheld tropes. I've basically covered them all apart from the one which is the Pi ones, you know, the uh, Pi Zeros or any kind of Pi handheld using RetroPie. And those are probably the most common ones, but I don't actually like them that much because they're very slow to boot 
And I'd like to maybe try something else. Um, I want to try different things. I might add to this, but for the moment, it's just going to be three. I mean, a long time down the line, there might be a fourth. Um, but I'm going to try to avoid pi zeros because I've done a lot of those. And um, as I said, I, I'm, if somebody could come up with a pi zero image that loaded in, well, I'd say 20 seconds, I'd be more inclined to do it. But um, yeah, so that's it probably for the moment for the uh, the pockets. And uh, thanks for watching.